Hi, this is another video from Cloud on Out. My name is Andreas and today I want to demonstrate how to connect to your EC2 instance using SSH the modern way. First, I will launch an EC2 instance. So let's go quickly through that. So I'm launching an instance, latest Amazon Linux 2, small instance type. And the important configuration here is I need to attach an IAM role to the instance. The IAM role allows the, ses the session manager agent that is running on the machine by default to connect with the SSM backend. So that's what this IAM role is for. So that's what you need to do for all your instances that you want to connect to with this approach as well. So I'm keep keeping the defaults for storage. Don't do any tags. The security group is important as well. So I'm using an existing security group here and the security group does not allow any inbound traffic. There's no port 22 open here. That's not needed. So I'm going with that. And when I launch the instance, I don't need to select any EC2 key pairs. So I'm going with proceed without a key pair here. While we wait for the EC2 instance to launch, let's have a look at the SSH configuration that I have on my machine. So this is a configuration file for connecting to hosts that start with the EC2 instance ID prefix. So that's basically what I'm doing here. So I'm specifying my, the, the, the private key that I want to use for that. I'm specifying the EC2 user, which is the default for Amazon Linux. And then there's a proxy command here. That, that's where the magic happens. The proxy command, in short, it uses EC2 instance connect to push your public key to the instance. And then it uses SSM to start a session, which means it tunnels a SSH connection through a WebSocket to the machine. Fine, the instance is up and running. So I'm just copying the instance ID here and then I jump into my terminal. Here I need to make sure that I have AWS credentials loaded. So that's this command on my machine and I'm also making sure I'm in the correct region. So that's, that's fine. So now um, I'm doing SSH followed by the instance ID, hit enter, wait a few seconds and now I'm logged into the EC2 instance. So that's really cool. So I can type in the commands I need to here, like you know from any SSH connection. Great. But that's not all. So I'm disconnecting here, leaving here. You can also use SCP to copy files if you want to. That, that works as well. So I'm doing SCP demo text from a local machine to the instance and let's say I want to upload it to the home directory of the EC2 user. So let's do that. And this uses the same approach and works as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this approach to connect to your EC2 instances using SSH with the EC2 instance connect and the systems manager. If you want to get the same thing running on your machine, you should check out our blog post. There you will find instructions, source code snippets, everything you need. So check that out. We'll be back here soon. Bye.